Beehive briquettes are mainly charcoal briquettes made from char and clay mud mixed in certain proportion. These are circular in shape, having diameter of 150 mm and height of 85 mm with 21 holes of 12 mm diameter. Due to the holes, it looks like beehive. Thus, the name came beehive bricket. Dried beehive bricket can be burnt in a specially made metal stove. It is placed on the grate of the stove and ignited by putting a fire below by dried wood chips. Once the bricket catches fire at the base, fire spreads uniformly and propagates upward. It produces smokeless blue flame during burning for two and a half to three hours. The calorific value of this bricket is approximately 18 to 20 megazoules per kg and emission of harmful gases are well within the permissible limit. We have a brigade which is developed and uh, modified by this institute is a um, uh, eco-friendly um, uh, an alternative source of energy for a rural household. If we can make use of it for cooking, we can make use of it for for warming in the winter. Children without proper clothes can get warm up in winter months. So it is a good source and rather we are advocating this because you know, there are 37 million uh, tons of uh, yeah, agricultural and uh, forestry uh, waste uh, biomass. We can convert this, uh, yeah, at least 20% of this can be a good source of uh, energy. Use of raw biomass for cooking and space heating, etc. resulted release of many harmful gases like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane, nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide, etc. It causes health hazards, particularly in the indoor condition. When with the watershed project we are visiting frequently to the rural area, then our person, technical person and we saw that people are in practice of burning biomass for cooking in a space setting and also our research advisory committee in 2011, they recommended that why we should not do some work on bricketing technology. Bricketing technology is nothing but uh, it is densifying the biomass. You can densify the biomass in two ways, either pressing very hard raw biomass and another way is to make char of your biomass. When you are making char, then most of the harmful gases are out, are emitted and then mix that char with some binding agent that mud or clay. So when it is bound char, when it is bound with the mud, it becomes more denser and it gives a clean and longer duration burning. For making charcoal, the charring drum is to be placed over three bricks arranged in triangular shape. Put the chimney in middle of the drum. Fill the drum with biomass by keeping woody biomass at bottom and loose at top. Now remove the chimney and fire it. Now close the drum with the lid. The chimney should be fitted to it. Allow it to burn for one hour or as long as white smoke comes. When smoke transforms to grey or colourless, remove the chimney extension, cover the lid and make it airtight by putting mud at the bottom. A 
allow the drum to be cooled for almost one hour. Now, the biomass has been converted into charcoal. Then take out the charcoal from drum and grind it by a wooden hammer. Now mix two parts of charcoal with one part of mud. For getting best result, the actual ratio of charcoal and mud mixture should be 70s to 30 by volume and 60s to 40 by weight. Now put the cylinder and perforated pressure plate of the mould at the base plate. Fill the cylinder with the mixture. Beat it over a wooden plank for compaction. Take out the cylinder along with the bricket from the pegs and put it upside down to release the bricket by putting pressure on the pressure plate. The brickets are to be sun-dried for a week. After drying, it can be burnt efficiently in a beehive bricket stove. The scientists of the institute have standardized the ratio of charcoal and mud with respect to its burning efficiency, cost and emission of harmful gases. And also, the modification of the briquettes mould has been carried out to increase efficiency and comfort. For a small entrepreneur, he only needs two things, 1000 for the mould and around 5000 for the charring drum. Production of 6000 briquettes, he has to buy around 2 tons of charcoal which will cost around 20,000 and altogether this will the in, total investment cost initially for produce a production of 6,000 briquettes will be around 40,000. And if you see the cost of this briquette, one briquette can be sold around 15 to 20 rupee a piece. So, if, if we take a 15 rupee say, then the 6,000 briquette will cost 90,000. So, this 90,000 cost and the in, investment cost is only 40,000, 39 to 40,000. So, there will be a profit of around 50,000. ICAR Research Complex for Northeastern Hill Region has taken initiative for proliferation of this technology to make this popular among the farmers of this region. Several on and off campus trainings have been carried out in Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram and Nagaland in various occasions. The KVKs under the umbrella of the institute also has been mobilized to undertake training on bricketing to farmers. We are giving training to the entrepreneurs also to manufacture this uh, equipment which is required for uh, manufacturing this. So from the uh, farmers uh, point of view, those who are using this uh, charcoal bricket, they are finding it very much suitable because it can be made from the uh, uh, locally available material. It does not require much cost and can easily be uh, made. On getting well trained, the rural farmers started making beehive briquettes. Initially, they made it for their own use and then started to sell surplus briquettes to others. The meta. Nga on training na po ICR, nga lahat sedang mantray kung kini. Te nga somentoy si siya, ba nga layo at panlik kung kini. Haka si si nga tray nga sina haka si sanpo tali ay ay nga tray. Haba la yarap si siya ya kabay school kiko ni eru la yarap si siya. Ya sungguk mo ya isar ba ila. Now the demand for beehive bricket is gradually increasing in these rural areas.
ตะงามตางาสุทังสวตังนี่กะยิงละจ้องตะงาลายยกกะลัดกะบะคราวกะปอร์บะปอร์ตะลังโรปลยูรงาทังโดตูมาวงาสังจันทรบคูนตะงา